I am bored of programming. I'm bored of coding. I started coding at about 11 because I loved cracking video games and botting on them so I can get ahead without having to pour in the countless amount of hours that everyone else was. And that was novel to me. At the time, like obviously I had zero exposure to coding. I had a lot of interest in computers. I think every kid did when it was first coming out and it was it kind of revolutionized the whole industry. It revolutionized people's childhoods. And yeah, that was interesting to me. And I started enjoying making small games like remakes of Pokemon using Visual Basic and C Sharp. Like I, I like the idea of taking whatever's in my head, all that creativity, all that innovation, and then blurting it or vomiting it into some sort of notepad or whatever and then something comes out of it i just it really really enjoyed that aspect and it was honestly something new and it's something exciting and that's what i did for a long time i was constantly addicted to computers then i took more programming courses or classes in high school and i really enjoyed my teacher's methods of learning so it wasn't actually at that point it wasn't even programming anymore i actually just really liked the teacher he was a really good person to learn from like he broke things down to simple uh he broke things down to like small digestible pieces of information and it was exciting he made it fun he was laid back he was super chill and i had tons of fun and i thought okay let me pursue computer science in university what i ended up doing is exactly that pursued it in university i already had enough knowledge for the first two years so i cruised through it the reason is because i've been programming since i was 11 a and then b a lot of the stuff that my high school teacher was teaching me in the cs class was completely translated into the first and second year of university so he practically prepared us for half our university career which was awesome third year it got to a point where now we were diving more into theory based of computation so we were learning about like proofs we we're learning about like how certain algorithms came to be and like i absolutely hated it i realized that i'm not as heavily into computers as i was once i started taking a few of those courses i like the idea of being able to translate an idea into something visual and into something concrete i like that aspect but when we get into the nitty-gritty details of trying to solve all these different algorithms solve all these like mathematical problems and properties and physics like sure it's fun at first but like when you do it more and when it's it becomes more repetitive and it's like i don't know i just didn't enjoy it like i really like realized at that point that maybe i'm not as into computers like i'm not the type to go and do heavy research on like gpus or what cuda cores do like i'll probably read some description online about like how to how to like shop for gpus but that's it i'm just trying to buy a good gpu to run my video games and render my videos that's it i don't really care how the underlying detail works I'll leave that for Mr. Linus Tech Tips. Like he's absolutely great at what he does and let him do his thing, but he has a deep passion for computers. I have a deep passion of translating ideas into reality. And yeah, I mean, I generally like the idea of using software more as a tool to achieve what I want rather than, uh, rather than actually like writing the tool. Like I don't enjoy building and writing those tools. I enjoy using those tools to get to where I need to be. So for me, if I'm starting a business, I like using tools like React to build a quick website so that I can display it to my audience and they can figure out uh, information about the product that I'm selling really quickly and easily. I can scale that to millions and millions of folks uh, will go on that site and I can scale it using AWS. But I don't actually enjoy making those tools. I don't like making React. I don't like making AWS. And I've noticed that within the software industry, a lot of the companies just make their own tools all the time. Even if things that exist already are out there, they just like making their own tools. And that's not something I'm interested in. And I'm also generally a more social person and I love to talk to folks and exchange ideas and interact. And when you're programming, you're usually heads down, you're usually like going off, writing your code, testing it out and deploying it. And a lot of it is isolated. I'd say depending on the type of role, if you're a team lead, then it's more of a 70 to 30 split, 70% of the time you're talking, 30% of the time you're coding. If you're like a technical lead, which I am, it's more like a 70, 30, the opposite way. I'm most of the time coding and like writing infrastructure and 30% of the time I'm presenting ideas and exchanging with others. So I ended up in the technical lead because I'm really good at 
writing and, and designing architecture, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what I enjoy. I just somehow got good at it over time because I'm not afraid of testing new ideas. I'm not afraid of experimenting and learning. So those are like great skills to have. And you kind of get pushed into technical stuff if you're good at it. It's because there's less people who are technically good. So the people who are technically good, even though they have this other soft skills, communication skills and other areas, they will get pushed into the technical side because again, there's just not many people there. And I'm slowly getting bored of coding. I'm not interested in learning new tech anymore. And it's more of a means to an end for me. It's, it's a way to, for me to earn money and eventually build up a little bit of a cash position and focus on building whatever it is that I want to. So that's what it is to me these, uh, these days. I'm not, I don't really enjoy coding anymore. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.